Darrell Lee has made his way across. The dog still committing a lot of bodies forward. This one's going to hang up nicely at the back post, and here's the chance. And it bounces in and away, much to the relief of the Shamrock Rovers rear guard. Well, there was a free header for Archie Davis. That's right well, into the ground. Well worked, Carl. You can see now trying to work one of the fire five done block players making that surge and run to the front post. And now Davis has come all the way around the back. He's put his hand up because he's lost it in the sun. Probably the reason why he hasn't got enough contact and needs to do much better there. And side. And Gaffney will eventually get possession. Good ball across as well. Well anticipated by Nathan Shepherd, but lightning quick counter attack from Shamrock Rovers. Oh, come from Cavan, doesn't it? One of a flick. I think it's Cavan as well. It makes that surge run. Have a look in the centre of your picture. There he is trying to get himself in the box. Wonderful ball from Gaffney. Makes that decision to go front post. A little nudge. That's really good defending, isn't it? From Muller just senses, does enough just to put him off. As the home team gains some more possession now with Lopez playing this one forward. Gaffney becoming more involved, dinks a little ball in over the back. This one is nicely weighted, and here's the chance for Shamrock Rovers. Can they finish it? No, they can't because Nathan Shepard has done brilliantly. Aaron Green wondering how he wasn't able to get an attempt on goal there. But that's brilliant goalkeeping. That's Mark as far as Gaffney just lobs it up. Once Aaron Green gets into this situation, you're normally expecting to be ruthless, maybe the lack of games. It's a wonderful save, half save for Shepard. He's come out and closed it down, but all of a sudden Rovers starting to find those pockets. Those little areas of space. You just think Aaron Green, back yourself on that left foot, get yourself beyond the goalkeeper. And this sets Dundalk on a dangerous looking attack again. They switch to that far side. Right feed from Tullock. And now Doyle. Kelly plays it in, Kelly with the ball in, and just past the post, the header. Brilliant build-up play from Dundalk once more, and that one almost looped into the net. Oh, best pass to play from Dundalk now, down the bell, it's a wonderful little delivery from Daniel Kelly, puts it behind Sliger, but it does extremely well to dig that one out, didn't he? Just got to get your neck muscles behind it and guide any kind of pace on it. We're heading into a kind of a strange period where we won't be playing too much games because of European football momentum can kind of you know, get stopped. So Steve would be you know, really keen to kind of get some good results. Now the dog have UCD. And here come Shamrock Rovers on the attack. It's still there. They just can't make a count this time. And then the flag goes up. Much the relief of the dog. But all of a sudden, Shamrock Grover is almost cutting open Dundalk for the night's opening goal. Now, yeah, okay, a quick free kick. Jack Bourne just taking a really little slide, real pass, wonderful pass for Toom. And Shepard, absolutely outstanding goalkeeper. Once again, off his line like a light. Look at this. Brave throws himself at the feet. That's a hell of a save. Dundalk just switched off a little bit. Quick free kick in the middle of the pitch. That, that man you do not want to keep free. Mr. Shepard has hurt himself here. Hopefully, it's not too serious. They seem to be able to go into that mode where they can just do enough, if you know what I mean. And they can always go through the gears if they want, and they could be in here. And here's a chance for them. Ball out the far side to Finn, looking for the ball across, and does get it across! And right on cue, Shamrock Rovers open the scoring, it's Aaron Green. From close range, but it has been coming. He had a chance earlier on in this first half. But Aaron Green has got the opener for Shamrock Rovers and they lead Dundalk by a goal to nil. Now we talked about going through the games, they've just done it. The wonderful piece passage of play. Gaffney six in front of Donald Finn down this right hand side. Looking at for delivery. Do you know what? I'd love to see this again from behind because I think this could have been going wide, Carl. I think this might have come in off the leg of Shepherd. Let's have a look at it. It is. And it's just coming off the inside of Shepherd's leg. Wonderful for the two goals. Can't really do much about this at all. The right place, right time for Aaron Green. Had a wonderful chance early in the game. He's, he's certainly got a little bit of luck there. Paul Doyle. And now to Archie Davies. Has the time to deliver here. And that's a good-looking ball as well! Oh, what a chance for Dundalk. But the whistle has sounded. Oh, this is far caught, to be quite honest. Well, Davies had all the time in the world to pick out the ball in. But he's never picked up, is he, really? He's just strolled through. And then straight at the goalkeeper, Mali, but... I guess it's as good as mine what he's given. I don't know if he's offside or not, or maybe it's the push on... The Shamrock Rovers player did end up on the floor, perhaps... Hooven and Lopez, maybe? Oh, no, it wasn't Lopez, probably. 
Daniel Cleary, was it? And Shamrock Rovers starting the second half well. But this one has fallen nicely for Tullock. And now it's opening up for Tullock here. He's taken down decision time for Paul McLaughlin. Well, what's the decision going to be? I think we know, Paul. And it is a red. It's another red card for Shamrock Rovers. And this time it's Roland Finn. A huge moment at the start of the second half. To, to, to be fair to Ron, I think he actually has tried to play the ball here. He, he has tried to win, and he knows he's caught him. He knows his last man, and you can see he's, expe he's effectively accepted it. But it's all come from a loose pass from Shamrock Grover. Started the second half really well, good energy. And out of nothing, that man Tullock, I have to say, 4, 15, 20 minutes, really looked the danger. Look at the intensity on his face, just trying to get there. Knew that Ronan Finn was coming on the left-hand side, and just nicks in the foul. Certainly for long periods of the game against Cork, they were able to manage them being down to 10 and even down to 9. Useful ball into the area! And the header just flashes over the crossbar. That's a big chance for Dundalk. The ball just looped in from the far side from Sloggett. I just wonder, is he fully committed to this? I just don't know, it's, it's good defending, is it? Just does enough. Might have been Lee Grace just to kind of lean into him, but... Shamrock Rovers leading by that iron green goal to nil. Down to ten men, but playing well. Here comes Jack Byrne. Good ball in, bodies everywhere. The ball is still there! And it's cleared away. And eventually the whistle sounds for a free kick. Well, dangerous moments for Dundalk. That ball looked destined for the back of the net. But there were enough bodies in the way. It's eventually come to Cleary and it's been stopped in the line. I do not know who this has hit. I don't know what the foul is for. I think it might have been Pat Hooban, was it? The skipper gets himself. Have a little look again. I'll leave that to you, Cole. Let's have a look. There's a good angle to have a look here. Archie Davis is already Gaffney. A little bit of coming together. Don't see much in that at all, to be quite honest with you. Well, then the ball fell for Shamrock Rovers and you just thought... That was heading for the net, but enough bodies in the way from a Dundalk point of view. The player who showed flashes of promise in that opening half. Now it's with Conor Malley. Dara Lee going in support on the outside. Instead, Malley comes in and loses possession. Now it's with Gaffney, who's been a tireless runner for Shamrock Rovers all evening. That's a nice ball in behind for Green. And this is the chance to add the second for Green. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. the opportunity and it's nothing more than the home team deserve in the second half Shamrock Rovers lead Dundalk by two goals to nil yeah, it's top notch call top notch desire and hunger who wants it more I tell you who wants it more Shamrock Rovers they lost their skipper down to 10 men have a look at the up Martin Green here desire hunger get yourself in front can't get near them makes up for that mistake in the fourth half where the second touch didn't take him beyond the goalkeeper he has learned his lesson doesn't make that same mistake twice. That's the reason why the champions call absolutely outstanding. It's interesting to see that Dundalk weren't able to make those two changes. I don't know why they were holding off, but... That second goal was always going to be key. Could Dundalk get it, or if Rovers got it? Dundalk getting a couple of subs ready. There's a first-time ball for What brilliant control from Green! Oh, what a goal that would have been. It's a super save in the end, but how about that touch from Aaron Green? Oh, it's another quick free kick again, it's a hell of a ball, isn't it? Look at this for a touch, well, it gets wrong side well. Oh, you've got a hand of the shepherd as well, right place, right time. Clearly that's a hell of a pass, I have to say. He's done well get Aaron Green not to go down, because I think if he had it gone down, he might have given a penalty away, but that's a wonderful touch, gets a strike. That ball across might just work out for Dundalk, they've still got it. Here's Hooban on the edge of the area. Chance here for Dundalk. Can they make a count? Ward! Can't quite find the target. Well, they worked it well. And it fell to that man, Keith Ward. But he just couldn't direct his shot on target. It's good stuff, wasn't it? Cameron Elliott just finds him. Good touch. Could have been maybe a little bit better more. We know he has that quality. Got to hit the target. Work the goalkeeper at the very least. Certainly, that's how he reacted. He was furious with himself. And 
And so it comes to Lewis now as we edge towards the final 10 minutes. Can Dundalk find that goal to breathe life into their challenge? They might get it here! Oh. And Tullock really should score from there and he knows it. In acres of space in the Shamrock Rovers area. Hit it first time, but didn't catch it sweetly. Now a key to this is the early delivery. I don't think they expected to come in, but a hell of a, a, hell of a delivery. Look at the area he puts into it. Then Tullock, you got Manley back stick as well. The Rovers all central and narrow. Taking risks, letting people come in on the back stick, and he just doesn't catch it right. Tullock, it's as simple as that. Maybe even had a little bit of time to take a chance, but he had the confidence to go and hit a first time. The home team just coughing up possession in the middle when it looked like they were in charge, and this would allow Mali to head towards goal. Tullock. Goes for the return here and may just get it. Still Tullock. Gets it out of his feet to Lewis. And now all the way across to Davies. That's a good ball in. Tullock hits the deck. It's still there for Dundalk. Can they convert? Shamrock Rovers stand tall and get it away, but Dundalk still have it. And then Lee was just off balance as he struck that one. Now, Reverend's had a real good look at this. Tullock is it a penalty. Looks like he's got a tug. He certainly went down. Get another look at it here, but referee's had a good view of this. This is the earlier skill, a little bit of a jink on the right and the left. Once it works down this right hand side, delivery comes in. Oh, it was too, wasn't it? Got on the wrong side, maybe a little bit clumsy, but is it enough for a penalty? Referee's had a really good look at it. Palace Stadium, the Shamrock Rovers look set now to return to winning ways in the Premier Division. One last ball in from Dundalk. O'Kane is there, but plenty of green and white shirts to defend. And now it goes for a goal kick, and there is the full-time whistle. And Aaron Green's two goals give Shamrock Rovers a priceless win in the Premier Division. They were down to ten men for much of the second half after the dismissal of Roland Finn in the 49th minute. But Stephen Bradley's side do enough to take an important three points in this encounter with Dundalk at Tala Stadium. We'll be back with analysis very shortly indeed, but it's finished here at Tallis Stadium. Shamrock Rovers 2, Dundalk 0.